you have to be really, really careful. They are one of the most dangerously sharp kitchen tools there is. So when I get to the end, I usually break out the safety guard and just finish it off that way. I leave the skin on the potatoes for a really important culinary reason. I'm lazy. I do not like to peel potatoes. And if you scrub them and wash them thoroughly, you really don't need to. You want to use potatoes that aren't overly huge, just nice medium-sized russets are perfect. Okay, that's it for the potatoes and they look wonderful. Now I have a good sized dish that I smeared with softened butter and I'll just layer half the potatoes in the dish first. Just spread them all out. I want to try to separate them. Okay, that's about half the potatoes. Now I'll move over to the ham for scalloped potatoes and ham. I like to use just a big old chunk of cooked ham and I'll dice it up into pretty thin pieces. So I'll cut some slices first. Now to dice the ham, I'll just cut it into sticks. I like to keep the dice pretty small. That way when you scoop out the helpings of scalloped potatoes and ham, you don't have a big old chunk messing everything up. Okay, now that's the ham, and I'll add a half of it over the potatoes. Just sprinkle it evenly. Okay, now I also have a good amount of grated Monterey Jack cheese, and then I have this glorious white sauce. I do like to add quite a bit of black pepper. Now, I'll pour half the sauce over the ham and potatoes and cheese. Oh boy. <laughs> 